Hi, I'm Jennifer Ellison. Welcome to another Make It Monday. Today I'm going to show you some tips for using the Essential Glue Pad. This is how the pad comes. It comes with a refill. Um, it has a plastic lid on the inside. You want to keep that. And to get it started, you just use it like you would a reinker with an ink pad. You apply the glue, smooth it out, make sure that the surface is completely covered, and then you start stamping. I'm going to use this snowflake image from Winter Cheer, and this is Tag Sale 4, die cut out of clear cardstock. Sorry for the reflection on this, but uh, the glue pad works really well on clear cardstock, on vellum, so this is a great way to show you how. When you ink it up, when you apply the glue, you'll see it on your stamp. You'll see it in person a little bit better than you did there. When stamping on acetate, you go straight down and straight up, and you can see the translucent image there. I'm going to set it aside and let it firm up. And then I'm going to clean my stamp. You don't want to let the glue sit on your stamp for very long, so I always clean it up right away. I'm going to move on to Tag Sale 1 and this tree image from Love Lives Here Holiday. Same process, just apply the glue like you would ink straight down, make sure your stamp had good coverage, and then straight up. In addition to this image, I'm going to add a sentiment. This is the word mom from Women of Life. So when you lift these up, you want to make sure not to touch the glue. Just hold it by the edges. As I mentioned, the glue pad is also very good on vellum. So for the next one, I've used our vellum cardstock. I've die cut matte stack number four, and I have a coordinating stamp from matte stack four collection. I'm going to apply the glue. I wanted to let you know that this would probably be the last image I could stamp with the glue pad without reapplying more glue. It does take frequent reapplications, so you want to make sure that you do have the refill on hand. You can usually get two to three good size images from one application of the glue. So now that I'm finished with the glue pad, I'm going to put this plastic insert lid back on and then also the other lid, and I'm going to try and make it as airtight as possible. Over time, the pad will firm up, but all you have to do is just reapply the glue to soften it back up. So this is white flocking, and I'm going to apply it just by sprinkling it on. So I'm going to tap that around. You'll notice that I'm using my finger, but I'm making sure just to touch the flocking powder and not touch the stamped image or the glue quite yet. I'm going to tap off the excess and then just set that aside. This is Gold Perfect Pearls. I'm going to apply that with a paintbrush, just tapping it over the stamped image. Again, I'm touching just the perfect pearls and not the glue. And in thinking on how to approach this, I'm just going to put the excess back in the jar. I was going to use this paintbrush and I decided not to. So I'm just going to let that go for the time being. Close this back up. I'm 
and just tap off the excess of this perfect pearls. And then this last one, I'm going to use ultra fine glitter with. Chunky glitter doesn't hold very well with the glue pad. Um, anything that has fine particles, like the three things I've shown you today, will work really well with the glue pad. I'm going to move this, tap this off, and again, try not to touch the stamped image, only the edges. Just going to put this excess glitter right back in the jar. And I'm going to fast forward about five minutes here. I like to let these set for a little bit and then pull out a rag and just gently go over the top. And you'll see how the flocking sticks just to the image. So then to finish off this tag, I'm going to pull out some red stays on. And then I'm also using a to from image that you can find in 2010 holiday tags. And with this image, I've actually cut it in half to give me a little bit more versatility. Clear stamps cut very easily with fine tip scissors or a craft knife if you've got a good steady hand. And then just to add some contrast to this, I'm going to ink the edges. And that just helps visually define the edge of the tag since it's clear. Now I'm going to run my finger over the top of this and you'll see that I get no flocking on my finger. The combination of the clear cardstock flocking and the glue pad works really well and it dries pretty quickly. Different materials react differently with that. So now I'm moving on to the tag with the perfect pearls. You'll see that it came out very nicely. Um, if you have any stray marks due to static, you can easily just wipe those off as well. So with stays on green, I'm going to stamp the tree trunk image that goes with this tree. And then I'm also going to just quickly ink the edges. You'll notice I'm still trying not to touch the stamped image. And it's pretty much dry, but you'll see that I still get a little bit on my finger but the stamped image is still very crisp and clean. So then our last one was the ultra fine glitter on vellum. And you'll see on that one corner I really rubbed a little bit too hard. This taking a little bit longer to dry than the other combinations that we've used but it's still dry enough that we can work with it pretty easily. This is the Merry Christmas to You image from 2010 Holiday Tags. I'm stamping it with ripe avocado ink. And once again, trying not to touch the stamped glitter. I'm pulling out my heat tool not for the glue, but for the ink because the Ripe avocado just takes a little while longer to dry on the vellum. You can speed it up with a heat tool. I'm just going to punch a hole in this because the matte stack images also make great tags. So it's just three quick and easy ways to use the essential glue pad with flocking, perfect pearls, and ultra-fine glitter. And you can dress up your packages very easily with baker's twine, and you can put them on something plain or on something decorated, 
and they all look fantastic. Thanks for joining me on this Make It Monday. I really appreciate you stopping by, and I look forward to seeing your interpretations of the challenge as well. Have a great week.